All right, YouTube, what is going on? It's the Albaguru back on the Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope you are enjoying your families and enjoying the good food. As you see, I have a Super Bowl gameplay coming up for you guys. And this one is going to be great. So here we go. My opponent gets ball first as he is flushed out the pocket by J.D. Clowney. As we get second down. All right, so my opponent has Joe Flacco at quarterback. LaShawn McCoy in the backfield as Flacco floats it right in the left sideline to his receiver. I can't really tell who it is. I challenged the play, and the play did stand. So great ball placement by Flacco as he is now at midfield, first and 10. Hands it off to McCoy, but Luke Keekley stops it for a one-yard game. All right, here we go, third and three. Flacco drops back the pass. He's scrambling as he hits Nate Washington across the middle of the field for a first down conversion. So my opponent moving the ball with pretty good momentum. Tries to go back to the run game as McCoy is stuffed as he gets back to the line of scrimmage for no gain. So we go second and 10. Flacco's looking. Has all day to throw. Hits McCoy coming out of the backfield for another first down. He's down at the 18, so now he is approaching the red zone. Flacco turns and hands it to McCoy, who makes a few guys miss as he's going to take it in for the first score of the Super Bowl as my opponent now goes up 7 nothing. And I did make a change at running back. You see Adrian Peterson gets the hands off and in his first game on the new team, he's gonna go 60 plus yards all the way to the house. Touchdown AP. I bet you're wondering, how did I get this AP? Well, if you remember from a few videos back, I pulled that um flashback Justin Smith. I put him on the block like three times and no one bought him. So I placed him on the trade block and I had an offer, and the offer was AP. So I gladly took that trade. I was looking for another running back anyway. So that's how I got Adrian Peterson. So here we go, second and 10. My opponent looks, dumps it down to McCoy. Nice open field tackle by DRC, bringing him down for a gain of two. So a huge third down and eight situation as we have a minute left in this first quarter of the Super Bowl. As Flacco is looking. Has all day to throw. Finally finds the receiver on the right sideline as Patrick Peterson was just a second too late to break that play up. As my opponent converted another third down. So we're going to fast forward to second and five. Time running down in this first quarter. Flacco scrambles. As Patrick Peterson steps in front of the pass. And he looked like he's going to try, try to take it all the way to the house. But he is brought down. Met first by Flacco. So, what a way to end the first quarter of play as Patrick Peterson gets the interception. We're going to hand it off right here to the other Peterson. Adrian Peterson makes a move in the hole. And on his second carry of the game in this Super Bowl, he goes in for his second touchdown in the game. So, AP, two carries, two touchdowns. Looking like this is going to be a great trade on my end. So, we're now up seven. It's my opponent back out of offense. Hits his receiver, looks like Nate Washington on the sideline who keeps his feet in bounds. First and 10 on the 34. Here's Joe Flacco again, dropping back. Taking what my defense is giving him. This time dumps it down to Sammy Watkins for another first down. So first and 10 on the 45. Got a two back set, Flacco drops back. And throws it in between three defenders as Cromarty pretty much makes the Touchdown saving tackle. Well placed ball as you see now. EJ Manuel's in the game as Flacco went out with an injury. Manuel dumps it down to uh, McCoy on the screen. It's a third and three and he does not get it. It is forfeit inches. So of course my opponent is going to go for it. Be nice to get a stop right here. And go first and inches. Fourth and inches my bad. Manuel thought he had it. Poe got away from his man, but he puts on the brakes and reverses field and picks up the first down anyway. Great 
uh, awareness by my opponent. So first and 10, Flacco is now back inserted into the game. Looking as he finds his receiver in the back of the end zone as he gets both feet in. It's not, but he goes for two after the touchdown and does not get it. So I still have a one point lead. My, I come back out. First and 10, I fire it to Anquan Bolden who has no one covering him. As he's going to throw out the stiff arm and get at least five to seven extra yards as he goes all the way down to the 38. 47 yard pass by Luck hooking up with Bolden. So we go draw play to AP and he breaks loose again. Are you kidding me? Adrian Peterson. Three carries, three touchdowns in his first game, and it's in the Super Bowl of all games. So here we go. First and 10. My opponent's pretty much going to try to Hail Mary and see if he can get a touchdown or maybe a pass interference. He has all day to throw as Poe makes contact with him first as Clowney and Kigley bring him down. So that ends first half of play. I'm up 21-13. Opening kickoff of the second half. Here goes Tavon Austin up the left sideline. That is the um, Madden 25 throwback fantasy from week 10. As he's going to take it all the way to the house for an opening kickoff. To kick off this second half of play. We're now up 28-13. We'll so here we go after the kickoff return. My opponent got to get back out here on offense. We got first and 10. Flacco's looking. Peterson was not in the right position. He thought he had position to make the pick as he hooks up with T.Y. Hilton. And that is the quick score my opponent needed to get right back into this ball game. He goes for two again and does not get it. So the lead is at 11. This time we go read option out of the pistol. Andrew Luck decides to get in on the ground game. As he gets a nice 24-yard gain down to the 45. This time we go counter. Adrian Peterson makes a double move. Breaks one tackle. And this is amazing. Adrian Peterson on his fourth carry. Four touchdowns. Completely unheard of. I've never done anything like this in Ultimate Team ever. Four carries, four touchdowns for Adrian Peterson. So my opponent tries to reestablish his run game. Goes back to McCoy for a nice gain of eight. Second and two, he sends a man in motion. Flacco looking at Jadavion Clowney. Forces the fumble and picks up his own fumble. He's going to take it into the end zone for his own touchdown. What a play by Jadavion Clowney. Shades of the um, Outback Bowl from, I think it was it last year. From the um, from the play simply known as the hit against Michigan, where he forced the fumble on the Michigan running back and scooped his own fumble. So now the defense is getting involved in this blowout. So we got second and ten. Flacco's going deep, and he tries Patrick Peterson, and he completes it to Nate Washington. I guess that's the way to go at those uh, elite corners is just go right at him. Flacco. Going to test his luck again, but Patrick Peterson says no touchdowns for you. So there's Patrick Peterson with his second pick of the Super Bowl. So first and 10, minute 26 remaining in this second half. Well, in the third quarter, hits the scene right up the middle to Jared Cook. Interesting stat. We are pretty much halfway done with this game, and that is just my second pass. Adrian Peterson has been doing all the work on the ground. This time, Luck floats it up to Orange Julius Thomas. He's going to take it all the way up the right sideline for another Steeler touchdown as we are up now 50 to 19. Yes, I said it 50. And look at that stat. My opponent has outgained me yardage wise 312 to 150. Amazing, but he is down 20 plus points. So this play will pretty much end the third quarter. And Patrick Peterson strikes yet again, showing why he's one of the best corners in the league. And this time, looks like he might have six as he's got two man to beat. Swerves in, but I swerved in a little too far. Designed brought down by Sammy Watkins. 
So it is now first and goal on the seven to begin this fourth quarter of play. Adrian Peterson is finally brought down. So he has six rushes for 194 and four TDs in his first game on my team. So we go second and goal, change it up. Luck cuts to the inside. As he's gonna take advantage of all the attention to AP as he goes into the end zone untouched. We're now up 57-19. So we're back out on defense. Flacco is obviously flustered. Gets brought down by Vaughn Miller. So we're going to go to third and 15. Scrambling. As we almost get the pick. He pretty much almost threw it right to me. As my opponent is punting. As I am showing this for one reason. Tavon Austin feels the punt. Makes a nice cut. He gets to the outside. He has the punter to beat. But the punter somehow brings him down at the 11 yard line. So this has been a this has been an all around game. Special teams and look who it is getting this carry, LaShawn McCoy, who may be playing his final game on my team. I've had him since the beginning of Ultimate Team. He still shows he can produce at a high level. He goes in for a touchdown. 64-19 is the lead. As Vaughn Miller brings down Flacco as he goes back out of the game with another injury. So second and 15. E.J. Manuel, no better results. Nick Fairley gets to him this time. Can we clean sweep him on a four and out with all sacks? Third and 17. And it's Jadavion Clowney getting back there again. So after another punt, we are now on the 41. Go back to AP as he's getting loose yet again. But he gets laid out. But he gets the first seven carries, 204 yards rushing and four touchdowns. This time we turn and hand it to Shady McCoy again, who gets tough yards, breaking tackles on the left sideline. So here we go. This pretty much is going to end the game. Hand it off to McCoy, who's going to go in for his second touchdown. So my backfield, including Luck, was responsible for seven touchdowns, four by AP, two by Shady McCoy, and one by Andrew Luck. And my opponent goes for a Hail Mary and does not get it. And that is the game that will be Super Bowl number 16, I think, for me. So this is another Super Bowl win. Oh, man, that was a well-played game. All facets, offense, defense, special teams. I cannot wait to get loose with this AP. Maybe McCoy will be sold. Maybe he will be uh, second string running back. Who knows? So this is the Outback Crew signing out. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and be safe. Peace. A Super Bowl victory and the MVP award he'll receive the keys to a brand new GMC the official vehicle of the NFL and there they are holding the Lombardi trophy triumphantly what a season it's been for them and no better way to top it off than with a Super Bowl victory truly a special moment for Bill Sims and all the crew, I'm Jim Nance. Stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up show, and we'll see you next year here on EA Sports.